they are not only a political movement, they're also a religious movement, and indeed they're a way of life. Their followers, at least 200,000 of them, embrace the faith of Islam and its custom. They want nothing less than a separate Negro state within the United States. One of their most forceful leaders has now broken away, dissatisfied with the policy of the black Muslims. He's a 38-year-old Nebraskan. His name was Malcolm Little. But now, because it's the name of servitude, he's known to the world simply as Malcolm X. Brother, Activists, politicians and actors were amongst the 300 people who gathered in Harlem at the theatre where Malcolm X was shot dead. A blue light marked the exact spot where the 39-year-old had fallen. Unlike his contemporary Martin Luther King, Malcolm X didn't want to see full racial integration. Rather, he believed in his early days that black separatism was the answer. I'm not for anybody who tells black people to be nonviolent while nobody is telling white people to be nonviolent. He became famous as the public face of the Nation of Islam, though three members of that organization were later jailed for his murder. Relatives of Malcolm X were present at the ceremony in New York to remember him. His daughter, Elasa Shabazz, wants Americans to take more account of her father's legacy. But I think it's time that he is recognized and that he is accurately recorded in history instead of writing him off and, and pretending that he was, you know, this man that was um, race, racist or that he was prejudiced or, or any of these things. When he was searching for solutions to the human condition where we could live, we could cohabitate together peacefully. Malcolm X, though, will always be a controversial figure in American history. He unwisely described the assassination of President J.F. Kennedy as the chickens coming home to roost, a quote which did him great harm at the time. And although he modified his militant views before his own assassination in 1965, he remains today a figure very much in the shadow of other civil rights leaders.